Hello and welcome to another episode of Future Stars, the series in which we follow a specific player who is tutored to have very good potential in which we advance into the future and see how they develop and just give you a little idea as to how they will turn out to be in the future. Today we have 20-year-old Mexican striker Jose Juan Macias playing for Deportivo Guadalajara in the top Mexican division. Being 20-year-old means Macias is going to be one of the more older players on this list, uh, as well as being one of the more expensive players that I aim to present you in the future. Uh, he's going to come in at around £11.5 million. Pounds. Uh, he's also available to buy at the start of the game due to his appearances in the Mexican national team. As I mentioned before, he is a striker, but he is also able to naturally play at the left-wing position. Um, he's also got a fairly determined personality, which is fantastic. Uh, he has some stats for a 20-year-old which are pretty solid, uh, such as his determination at 16. He has 15 finishing and technique, and in general his physical stats are pretty solid. Also, for him, he has two solid feet, so he can play with his left or his right, it makes no difference for him. His current ability starts at 128 usually, but for the most part I see him in the high 150s with his potential. Um, I think there's only been one occasion where I've seen him below that, and that was 149. But this can say this can vary from save to save um, because he's not really got a fixed potential. But as I say, you should tend to find him in the high 150s more often than not. Um, for some players in this series, we we tend to leave them at the club, and this is going to be more of a how they can expect to turn out without any human interaction, and just to see how they progress naturally. But everyone on this list should be bought for a pretty penny at some point in their career, or at least be developed to a point where they're worth quite a lot. Uh, I'll now go ahead into the future, and we'll see exactly how Juan Jose Macias fares in his future. Okay, so now we're in 2030, meaning Macias is now 30 years old. Uh, you can initially see that his value has skyrocketed uh, from £1.6 million earlier on at the start of the game. And he's now valued at £43.5 million. And he's also considered an elite striker. His stats have risen by like two or three uh, per category. His mental is now being very, very solid. And he's getting to the age where that's just going to increase even further. His physicals look pretty decent. 14, 15 is pretty solid, I think. But this is all just simulation and there's no human interaction. I'm not going in there and trying to develop him to be anything. Um, this is just, I guess, how he naturally progresses without anyone interfering. His stats could certainly be increased if you wanted to work on something else, such as uh, a certain formation, or you want a certain style of play, or maybe you've got a top striker or high potential striker up top that you want to keep, and you might want to play him as a left winger or a right winger and develop him there. Um, this is all down to how you want to play and how you would need him uh, if you decided that you want to go after him. With his personality, he's fairly determined, meaning you can probably get away with training him to be on the right hand side if you really wanted him to do that um so i think you've got quite a few ways of of utilizing Macias if you decided to go for him but let's get into the big stuff because for me personally it's all about seeing how much people go for and um how they perform because ultimately it's all about the goals and the form which makes me interested in a player because you can have all the stats in the world but if you're not going to perform then what use are you to the team Looking back overall throughout his career, we can see just in terms of transfers, he went to Fulham, so they must have avoided the drop because they're still in the Premier League, uh, which is where he looks like he's been for the rest of his career. So he went there for 13.25 million, so a little bit more than what you can usually pay for him at the start of the game. He, he then went to Leeds after a few years and went to 41 million pounds. Uh, he again, three more years there, and then he went to Liverpool for £61 million, and it looks like he didn't really play that much for Liverpool, which I, doesn't surprise me because they're such a huge club and have so much talent. Um, and this is the two of the three years which he didn't hit a seven rating, unlike everywhere else. But looking back, any time he's played ten or more games in the season, uh, for the, at least in the league, he's easily nailed a seven rating. So... That looks very promising for me if I wanted to have him in a future save. Um, and then just this season, he looks like he's gone to Tottenham. I think that must be January, where he's only played one game. So we'll have a look at his milestones and see uh, if he's won any awards. So he's relegated with Fulham, which I'm assuming then he requested a transfer. Um, Runners up in the North American Nation, uh, Nations League for Mexico. He won the Carabao Cup in... 
2025 with Leeds, which is pretty solid. Uh, the one, the CONCACAF Gold Cup with Mexico, and then was a runners-up a couple of years later. He also then was runner-up three years after winning the Carabao Cup. Does he get anything for himself here? So, Team of the Week, no biggie, I guess. Uh, Mexican Best 11. Team of the Week, quite a few times, which is good. Best 11 for Fulham. Player of the Year. Supporters Player of the Year again for Fulham. North American play third place player of the year for North America. It's not too bad. 2026. Christian Pulisic and Leon Bailey. Fair enough. There's some pretty big hitters themselves. Best 11 again from Mexico, which seems to be year in, year out. Named in Liverpool best 11. So, I mean, he's up there and he's getting into the best teams. He seems to break records too, which is fantastic. And it looks like, in fact, the, the, um, the transfer to Fulham was... 8.5 million and then with future add-ons so even cheaper if you want to go that way about getting him uh, he broke the Fulham's records multiple times player player of the match goal scored um, and then just breaking sales records became the most expensive Mexican at 61 million pounds not too shabby most goals in a match against Antigua and Barbuda but that pretty much wraps up everything for our guy here Jose Juan Macias, as mentioned earlier, he does start off at 1.6 million valuation at 20 years old, uh, and he can be bought for 11.5 million straight away, and that's just money up front. Uh, as we saw with Fulham, what they must have done is do uh, 8.5 million with add-ons, which is something you can always do if that's your your kind of way of doing transfers. Um, but if you did enjoy this, make sure to leave a like down below and make sure to drop a comment if you have any feedback or if there's a specific player that you'd like to see. Uh, and if you want to make sure you see more of these, make sure you go down there and hit the subscribe button. But as always, have a good one.